And uh, I actually watch a lot of your videos all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was telling Sean, I said, take a look at some of Fred's videos. And yesterday, while you were looking at his video, I would tell him to take a look at some of your videos because they're very inspiring mm -hmm. and thought provoking. Mm -hmm. Is this YouTube, Ben? Congratulations. No, it's, it's family. Okay. You wouldn't. All right. All right. He shot my documentary. All right. And I appreciate y'all, man. Like, I don't read too much, you know, but I, I know, like, the guys that are out there pushing and fighting and, and trying to get people to see things, you know, the right way. I know that y'all been doing your thing, man, and I know people try to, you know, quiet y'all down and yeah. stuff like that. And I couldn't tell you, man, guys like yourself. But the stuff you're doing, um, it, it's something you can apply to your life. Barbershop Conversations. I just listened to uh, Charlemagne, or the, well, it's The Breakfast Club, but I listened to Charlemagne. You know, we can't be mad at Charlemagne, and, and I'm going to tell you why we can't be mad at Charlemagne. We wanted him to dig deeper, like uh, when he talked about the domestic violence, they didn't bring up him paying off a 15-year-old girl, uh, the Al Heyman emails, uh, him wanting Canelo to fight McGregor when he's adamantly against Floyd Mayweather fighting Conor McGregor and and some other instances you may have but he tried and he's a pop culture journalist he's not a boxing journalist so I'm sitting there watching the interview waiting and hoping and for him to uh ask questions that I really really want I uh I hit his timeline five six times with the Al Heyman emails and asked him to write about I put it in this comment section on his Instagram to make sure he got it because I know uh, everyone goes through their comment section. Celebrities go through their comment section. You know, they may not go through their DM, but I know in the comment they'll read their comment section. So, uh, I thought he did a good job, man. He asked them about, uh, uh, about, uh, you know, a question a boxing media person has never asked him about the lingerie. You know, uh, he wanted to dig, but he didn't have all the information to dig a six foot hole and bury him he only had enough to dig a two foot hole where he can give himself out and he gave Charlemagne the answers too but you know to some of the answers like he promoted 10 of his fights they made buku money together they sat down at the same table and made the same decisions you understand what I'm saying hey we gonna spoon feed you this guy we gonna spoon feed you Robert Guerrero he can't fight you know he can't land a punch but you know we gonna uh we gonna make millions of dollars you gonna walk away with 30 million I'm gonna get two and we gonna live happily ever after right and I don't know what the percentage was. That's just an example. But I, I want to give Charlemagne credit. You know, I he's he, he sit he doesn't sit radio row at fights. He's not Stephen A. Smith. He's not Sway in the morning. He's not uh, many other uh, radio outlets that sit media row. You know, so uh, I think that we should give him credit. Although we want it more. Like we're sitting. I, I know. Like myself dante and ldbc are sitting on our hands and knees like man please ask them about the emails so we can have this conversation please please ha let's have this conversation but he's not previewed to the information and uh uh he obviously hit all the tabloid the tabloid uh uh the tabloid uh uh topics of conversation tmz stuff and stuff like that but Kudos to Charlemagne, man. I wish I could have had a conversation. I've never met Charlemagne ever in my life. But uh, he did as good a job as a guy can can do in that situation, uh, not spending a lot of time uh, researching. But they also have a uh, they also have a, a research department that prepares them for the interview. And they were as they were prepared because you can tell by his shotgun questions that he he wanted to make a point. And uh truth be told when you're in the interview the longer the interview goes the more you go towards the middle anyway because because we're human so you must get to that common ground where you can continue the conversation and uh as the conversation continues, you can tell like they're morphing into a comfort zone where they can have a conversation have dialogue and get to the points of why he's there you know what i mean make that as opposed to being argumentative so anyhow man decent job charlemagne we wanted more obviously but under those circumstances your research department probably could have did a better job if i would have known oscar would have been there i would have i would have sent you guys tons of emails and um potentially uh uh maybe you would have gotten them i don't know you know and i know 
um, many of the subscribers because I saw it in the comment section on Charlemagne that they wanted him to ask for email. So shout out to y'all. Congratulations to y'all. Thank you for continuing the conversation, attempting to force the conversation. You guys are awesome. Guys and girls are awesome. We have female. I wonder do girls get offended because the general term is guys. Do they get offended by that or they just don't think about it anymore? You get to a certain point in your life where you just say, okay, guys are cool. But anyways, <laughs> barbershop conversations. Uh, there will be uh, uh, more to come. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you guys. Yeah, I just want to remind you guys, In Your Corner, a movie I directed on Foy Mayweather and Sam Watson is out now on vimo.com. In Your Corner, click the link in the description box. Uh, and I would genuinely love and appreciate you guys' support. And uh, don't, don't hesitate to leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the film. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys' support and enjoy the video. Peace.